Hazel Dormouse is best known perhaps to many people as the sleepiest guest at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. But it is, of course, a real animal, and one which should be living in wild in woodlands like this across much of England. Sadly, this isn't the case. During the last century, dormice were lost from almost half the counties where they'd previously been known. Exactly when these losses took place in particular areas, nobody knows, because these are extraordinarily elusive animals and very difficult to study. In fact, 30 years ago, virtually nothing was known about their biology or their ecology in this country. Fortunately, that has changed, largely due to these. Now, this is a dormouse nest box, very much like a bird box, but the hole, instead of being on the front, is around the back. And placed up against the trunk of a tree, these two spaces allow access for just a dormouse and nothing any bigger. Now, these boxes have revolutionised the study of dormouse biology. Um, they are allowing researchers and volunteers to monitor dormouse populations. And the results have been flooding in now for 25 years, making it the longest running um, survey of small mammals anywhere in the world. Today is a very big day here in Nottinghamshire. 42 captive bred dormice have been in quarantine for the last six weeks. They're all fighting fit and ready to go and staff and volunteers from the People's Trust for Endangered Species, the Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust and a group of captive dormouse breeders have all accompanied them here to this woodland where they're going to be released to start their life in the wild. Let's go and see how they get on. Well, it's very exciting today because we're releasing a population here in Eaton Wood, but um, that's just a population. And what we really want to do is re-establish dormice throughout their historic range. So we're releasing here today just a short distance from last year's release site with the aim that those two populations will spread out into the hedgerows in between them and they'll eventually meet. Um, and that's the idea is to eventually re-establish connected populations throughout England until until they're re-established in their former range. Hazel dormouse. Um, this is our only small mammal with a, a furry tail. Uh, have to be quite careful of the tail because they, they can shed the tail if you're not careful. Big black eyes um, and long whiskers to help them find their way around the woodland in the dark. Uh, and they've got quite sticky uh, little feet and uh, quite sharp claws to help them climb uh, in the tree canopy, uh, which is where they live and feed. Just over a hundred years ago, dormice were found throughout England and Wales um, when we had much higher woodland coverage across the country. And unfortunately, in the last hundred years or so, we've lost much of that woodland and also many of our hedgerows. Therefore, we've lost dormice from many of the northern counties. And so what we're aiming to do today is reintroduce them um, back into the Midlands and further north so that we can re um, return dormice to where they came from.